Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 6 of our slow and immersive honor mode run in single player as two Githyanki warriors, Talqueer, our own custom made character, a level 3 now fighter, an uh, eldritch knight, who is uh, traveling through Faerun and the world of Baldur's Gate 3 together with Lazel, whom he met on the Nautiloid after they both were captured by their Gakes, and she is a level 3 battle uh, master, I believe. So, what was the, the what was the actual battle master? <laughs> yes, the subclass. Uh, and so far, we have gone. You know, we've gotten off the Nautiloid. Obviously, we've gone through all the kind of starting areas. We went back to the ruins in the last episode and completed that. We've talked with everyone at, at the Emerald Grove, and now we're back. We've we've uh, fought the little goblin. Um, I guess there's those gom goblin kind of scout uh pack in this in 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 these room in, in the kind of the the secret passageway to the grove uh we talked to Raphael as well we've met him and we're back here at the crossroads ready to proceed into the blighted village now in terms of the story we've uh in the grove we found out that you know this the tadpole we have in our head is not the normal tadpole and therefore Halsin is probably you know a good a good, uh, he's been researching the tadpole, and so he's a good source of knowledge and potential, uh, you know, it could potentially heal us. Now, Lazel is obviously pushing us to go straight to the crash, and we think that's a good idea. We're role playing pretty much, uh, you know, a typical Gif Yankee, that's Talqueer, so we will form a very close bond with Lazel, and we are favoring Gif Yankee dialogue options very heavily, along with just generally, even if, if there is no Gif Yankee specific option, we're favoring the most uh, abrupt, curt, aggressive, xenophobic, supremacist type uh, dialogue option, right? <coughs> and yeah, so far we've leveled up to level 3, picked our subclasses. At the end of last episode, in case you stopped watching after we, uh, we uh, talked to Withers, all we did was just loot everything in the ruins and then go back to the grove, sell some things, and we did buy the Ring of Flinging for uh, for uh, Talqueer. And we did also get the Gloves of Missile Snaring. We also got a Greatsword plus one for Lazel. Uh, yep, and Talqueer now also has a shield. I think I think that was the case in the previous episode. So that's where we are. We don't have a lot of gold, but we also probably bought some uh, healing potions, I believe. We could probably spread those a little bit more evenly. Get with Lazel. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of where we are. Uh, we've come back to the crossroads here. Let's move. And let's go ahead and proceed uh, just off the path here Taste. and see, you know, and get back into our adventure, I guess. Oop. People up ahead. Something's wrong. What do we see here? Andrik, Bruna, and Edwin. What are we going to do, Bray? I don't. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. Hmm. Freeze and hold up your hands. What happened to your friend? Your wounds look deep. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help, but we're not really going to help him, are we? I will go where I wish. No, we don't want to use his illithid powers at all. What happened to your friend? An oil bear. Please, do you have any... Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. <laughs> Hmm, let's hold his stare. Move away, reaching for your weapon. No, it's not dangerous. Try to block him out. Let's hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin. 
Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Hmm. You're mistaken. I'm no true soul. True soul. Explain this absolute to me. Let's try to find some... Find out more from them. Perhaps you can help me. They're clearly not inclined to help anyone. Forget the Albert. Now explain this absolute to me. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Ah, I will serve at no ruler's side but my queen's. Naturally, so would we. A crude summary. You have more to learn of our faith, novice. Hmm. I mean, can we really be that deceptive as a Githyanki? You're mistaken. I'm no true soul. Perhaps you can help me. Uh, yeah, why are you here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Mm. These fugitives tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we can still go with a crude summary. You have more to learn of our faith, novice. Now, we're not that deceptive. Perhaps you can help me. I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found me. You need to find the beast and avenge your brother. Yeah. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, sir. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, true soul, we may stand a chance. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Seems as though the Absolute's attracting followers from all kinds of places. Let's see, Let's see if Lazar has more to say about this. Yes, Kin. Speak. Okay, let's speak with the dead. Speak with Edwin. We just found that amulet. Let's make use of it. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hmm. What were you doing here? Looking for her weapon. Hmm. What can you tell me that about the absolute? Or what do you know about this weapon? Okay, let's go with what can you tell me about the absolute? Do not fight power. Such power. What do you know about this weapon? Crashed from the sky, taken by infidels. Hmm. Are there any valuables around here? Bruno and They are. Edwin, a true soul, a 
chosen. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Oh, we got inspiration from it. Okay. Lutum. Strange power resonates within oh. the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your heart craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Let the body, let your body guide you. Welcome the tadpole's influence. No way. Strength, the tadpole is toying with you. Resist it. Or wisdom, force your mind shut. You will not be influenced by an illithid parasite here, for sure. Okay, well, let's go with strength. Tadpole is toying with you. Resist it. Uh, yeah, we can get guidance from... Uh, oh, I actually never knew you could drink the... You could drink the elixir on the spot. Interesting. Um, okay, let's go for it. Ooh. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. We want to resist this. Roll again. Come on, no, 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 no. We're not having this. We're not having the tadpole. No, 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 we're not having this tadpole. Oh, come on. No, 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 we're not resisting this tadpole. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, we're resisting this tadpole. Oh, really? Really, three rolls below twelve. No use. Compulsion takes over. Your actions are no longer your own. Oh, we need to get to the crash as soon as we can. Wow. Wow, we just wasted three inspiration. Abandon points. their hosts as soon as they need to. Vile parasites. Come. We'll not find purification here. Wow. I can't believe we couldn't actually pass that check there. Shaft of a broken sphere. Fine. Oh. Yeah, what can I say? The, fit in my pack. the gake magic is strong. Oh, we need to get to the crash. We need to find a healer and get rid of this thing ASAP. Oh, we only needed to roll 12. I can't believe that. An open letter on oppression and peacocks. Dear editor. Oh, doesn't really look like that's. Very interesting, but it's worth nothing. I'll take this just in case we need it later, but all of this is basically just rubbish. Get okay, broken leap is worth 25 gold. Interesting leap. Uh, I think it's worth. Actually, actually. Goblins. They're travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Probably. Protect thoughts, scroll of grease, leather armor, quarter Potion of healing, dagger. Uh, goblins drawing. Goblins oh, drawing. Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal's skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures a goblin with sparks in its hands a square a humanoid figure 
and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Okay, bone cap, gold, and goblin bow. Okay, some sort of three, three leaders of some sort, that's what I guess. Okay, now, I think we need to rest to be honest with Lazel is barely alive, frankly. But uh, maybe we can push on a little bit further. Something's waiting up ahead. Ooh. Hang on, just this. What is waiting for us up ahead? Moonhaven. What is waiting for us up ahead? An ambush. Yeah, I think that means we spotted the ambush, haven't we? Am Ooh, yeah, they are ambushing. And it actually even says so, ambushing. Affected entity will attack as soon as its enemies are within reach. You can only do this with a successful perception check. Okay, well, we got an ambush here. Let's see if we can find a way around these. Goblins. Hunter stash. Okay, not, nothing in it. Where the owl bear is. Now. Okay, I got 60 XP. Well, oh, from, from finding a route. A route up. Okay. Okay, this is clearly, clearly inhabited by goblins, but this guy's sleeping. Scrawny buck bear sleeping. Yeah, we should be able to get him. Let's see. Um, okay, let's take Lazelle. Right, yeah, she should be able to. We don't have action search, but we do have the other stuff. Oh, what? Oh, I'm, I was trying to click next to this guy. Oh, we want to. That's fine. He's uh, surprised, so. Oh, but I think he's gonna be rid of the surprise very quickly. Oh, this is annoying. I misclicked. I was gonna do the faint attack. I just wanted to move a little bit further. Um. Well, he's almost dead. So in case he hits Lysel, let's just do evasive footwork. So he attacks us with. The... My right, enemies receive disadvantage on melee attacks against you. What? What? Main hand attack was hit for 16. Oh, critical. Oh, oh come on. Really? He survives with 1 HP? Come on. And I don't even have like... Now it's definitely time for a long rest. Okay. Loot this guy and head to camp. Okay, well that's a good use of a camp. <laughs> right, plenty of HP to save. Now before we rest, however... Oh, well. Where is Lazel? Oh, okay, she didn't follow us. Cause... So we... It's been a long day. Oh, come on. On game. Okay, so let oh. oh dearie me. Leave camp. Connect our characters and now they can both go to camp. There we go. Now Lazel. I want to respect her because I, I really hate the way she's specced uh, at the start. Oh, on. We actually need to talk to Withers since we just got him. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. Hmm, not to be rude, but where are you? Yeah, we're a sage, so we are curious. 
There are many answers to that question. None are important. Hmm. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk at all. Correct. Are you going to explain further? No. Oh, what kind of services can a skeleton offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Hmm, that's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. Hmm. You mentioned a cost. What is it? A matter of coin. A hundred gold. It's outrageous. Such is life. Outrage leading to a singular end. <laughs> okay. Sleeve. Is life but a waking death, or does it serve some other purpose? Never wanted the easy path. Now let's grab Lazelle. We want to change her, change her class, and effectively, yeah, change her abilities. Um. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Okay, can you help me change my character? As thou desire. A hundred gold is about all we have. Um Yeah, there we go. We want to be a fighter still. Fighting style. Great weapon fighting when you roll a one or a two on a damage die. For an attack with a two-handed melee weapon that dies reroll once. I mean that's good to increase damage, but I feel like that only comes into play much later in the game. In the game, because you know we need to make an attack, we need to make a successful attack roll, and then we need to make a roll of one or a two with a damage die, right? Which is the thing one d ten or is it like one d twelve for the great sword? Let's say so it's two in twelve chance, one-sixth chance, one-sixth, 16% chance that we roll that, right, and it will help us to re-roll it, but we also need to make a successful attack and be able to attack in general, so yes, at level, what is it, 10, when they, the fighters get triple attack, sure, you make like three attacks and then you have action surge, or maybe with potion of speed you can make six or nine attacks in theory, Right, and then those that you actually hit, which will by then will be most of them because you'll have strength at 20, then this comes online. So this is like a late game pick, frankly. Whereas defense, to me, and especially in honor mode, hang on. What? Yeah, I can't, what, why is it? Okay, now it's changing it, that was weird. Whereas defense, plus one bonus to armor class, that gets used immediately, that gets used throughout the game, that gets used every single time an enemy makes a roll, and we're pretty much always outnumbered. So I feel like you get much, much, much more value out of defense, much more. And with her, yes, especially if actually, especially if you're wielding a dual, you know, two-handed weapon, right? Because you don't have a shield, obviously, right? So I feel like we're better off going with defense here, like much better, much, much, much better. I feel like two-weapon fighting is a good for a fighter when you also pick dual wielder because you will get that plus one AC but otherwise I feel like defense is just superior you know every time and I mean every battle we've had there's three or four enemies they will make one or two attacks and every time your AC helps you a little bit you know not a great deal but it helps a lot it's five percent but five percent many many times and you avoid that damage completely whereas great weapon fighting like especially for honor mode i don't think that works very well now in terms of her stats this is like the weirdest the weirdest spread now i sort of get it 
I sort of get it because, fine, with our first feat, we will increase strength and constitution. But right now, we really need dexterity. So I'm actually going to go with this. Right, that's going to give us 2 AC. Just have this wisdom. Not really sure why that's needed. Maybe we'd, it's nice to have some extra perception checks and such, right? Hmm. She doesn't need intimid. Oh, she gets intimidation anyway. Okay, we need survival from her. And maybe more perception than acrobatics. Yeah, I feel like let's do perception. Although, I mean, immersion wise, she's more about acrobatics, right? Yeah, she's not particularly perceptive. Is she really into survival? Stay alive in the wilds. Yeah, I feel like she's more perceptive. Yeah, so let's go with perception actually. And acrobatics, I feel like that's more like Lazel. I will allow her to keep her charisma at 8, although I normally hate, as I we discussed that in the character creation, unless there's very good reason. But I feel Lazel has that character, where she really is 8 charisma type character. Yeah, and she's she's got wisdom, so senses and intuition. Yeah, I think that's perception actually goes much better with that than survival. She's not really out in the wilds, right? That's kind of how I, how I understand her character. Intelligence kind of 10, average constitution 14, strength 17. Now, you know, actually, I mean, hmm. Hmm. Kind of thinking, if we leave it like so, then at level four then yeah i thought about you know improving a couple of her abilities but actually maybe we are better off just going maybe she goes strength 16 constitution wait hang on no constitution. yeah i mean she would benefit from some con extra constitution is there a way to get that is there a way to as a fighter definitely 17 strength for her so she will get one strength okay we're gonna have to take like a half feet then right i think that's okay we'll get give her a half feet with some strength plus one just like talquer right mm. yeah it would be nice for her to have six four 16 constitution but i think it's not really possible. It's intimidation because of her background as a soldier, right? And, I, and we can't change that. That's cool. That's fine. Proficiency bonus plus two. Okay. Yeah, we can't really change this. Can we? No, we can't. Fine. I will not fall before my time. Okay, so let's just level her up again. All right, to level two, the action sword. She's the battle master, and as we discussed just in the previous episode, or maybe the episode before, I don't recall, when we were leveling up. Yeah, so we do get the race. She's a battle master. Yeah, and I think that was a definitely a good combo. Fainting attack, excellent, repost, and evasive footwork for extra tankiness. Uh, perfect. Alright. Back to Talquir. Talk to her. Yes, kin. Speak. Shall I even say... If she doesn't, maybe we need to end the day first. Is life a way death, or does it serve some other purpose? Get along quite well, I think. Yes, kin. Speak. Okay, definitely nothing. Definitely not. Please. Okay. Get to bed. More stuff. We need to be careful with our supplies, actually.
nice and easy with them for the day. Strider, of program. course. Have to keep going. No hesitation. Now we do have a potion of mind reading until long rest. I feel like we should use it. All right, we should actually be doing quite a lot of. Uh, Fighting and possibly talking in this episode, right in the village. Hmm. Okay, fine. Let's see if we if we are going to use it. Um, the tech thought scroll concentration. A mind reading potion. Right, let's leave camp together with Lazel and find those uh, goblins. See if they're still trying to ambush us. take the Buyang and we'll take the Goblin Tracker, I would assume that should work. No, I'm really hoping we're not going to lose that damage. I actually, you know, I actually did think about that um, after I finished that episode and in that cave the reason we didn't apply the 9 damage is because we lost hiding actually so it was kind of fair. Fair enough. We lost hiding when we were crawling, you know, kind of sneaking up to that goblin. So we didn't actually hit her for nine. We got the cutscene before the nine hit. But anyway, here, let's go fainting attack. All right, that would be 96. Well, actually, we don't need to waste the fainting attack here. It will give us extra damage. And it's, yeah, they're playing just on a short rest. So let's go ahead and just do. A nice, big, juicy roll. Let's go, Les. I'll open up. Ooh. Violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. Oh, what right through, like, the cracks in the roof she got us. Really. I'm going to action surge here. Hang on, can we get over here? And get both of these. Yes, we can. Here's the power of the great sword. Buyang down. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I don't want that goblin down there to shoot us though. Really annoying. Goblin tracker. So let's go ahead and maybe fall back a little bit. Alright, the other enemies are this sharp eye here. And another goblin Buyang trees. Okay, let's go ahead and just fall back. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Look good with a few out of oh, I didn't realize uh, Talker didn't wasn't in combat actually. Oh, silly me. That would have been a attack from hiding. Ah, oh, I messed that up. Ah, oh, that was terrible. Sorry about that, guys. We can't afford these mistakes on honor mode. Don't waste we really step. can't. Um, we're gonna pummel her. There's her. Yeah, and now, now we hit her. Uh, we might as well use action surge, to be honest. Just get her out of the way. Yeah, there we are. Did get hit. Unfortunately, still by fire. Mm, 
Yeah, I guess we gotta get down. We would like the high ground, but yeah, let's get to these goblins. Right, we're gonna have to get to them. They're coming down as well, so that's fine. They don't they won't have high ground over us. Fire wine barrel. This pesky. Pesky thing. Oh. Hmm. We... The annoying thing is that yeah, it shows we can run down there, but I know she's gonna jump and she's gonna hurt herself and go prone. So we're not gonna do that. And we go over here. We maybe jump. Can we jump? Possibly. Not enough movement. But she doesn't have the charge ability either. Is she? Fine. Just had it. Give me this game. Come on. Yep. Okay, so here we can get to. Which is fairly close, just not. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho. we did get to her. Oh, you're about to suffer, Goblin Buyang. Nice. Loving that damage. 6 to 16. 2d6 plus 4. Yeah, I guess with a great weapon... Okay, you roll 2 dice of 6. So it's actually... Yeah, okay. You actually have 30% of rolling a 1 or a 2. So the great weapon fighting is actually pretty good on that. But still, it's only every time you make an attack roll. So you need to get your strength up. So yeah, it will come, come online from mid-game onwards. Mm. But AC, AC gets used much more often, right. and the longer you stay alive, the more damage you deal. Can we rush attack this guy? Yes, we can. The sharp eye. Close in. Right. Disengaging also. Did manage to get him. Some fire. Oh. Even with her acrobatics and athletics and all of that. Deal. Nah, I don't want to use it. No, do not really. Not. Whoa, that was not close at hand. Okay, I should have used that. I should have used that. Wow, that hurt. Eighty percent. Uh, okay, we're gonna need to short. Okay, it's fine. I, I use the bonus action. This is your end. Let's get this Buyang. <laughs> Boom. Buyang is down. Uh, okay, I'm gonna run back. What now? And my turn is Lazel. Or definitely needs to heal himself and get over here. No time for oh. Hit this guy, saved from Lacerate, unfortunately. I don't want to pull anyone else into combat, but I'm not sure we have a lot of choice here. Whoa, what? Okay, at least that didn't do a whole lot of damage. I guess. Okay, we definitely need... Okay, Lazel, can you? No, we need to drink. Yeah, this is kind of where this fainting attack falls down, is if you don't use it at the start, or if you start taking damage, then it's a, it becomes a bit of a problem. Try me. Oh, no. We're starting, we're starting to pull enemies in. And that is not good. I will oh. ascend. 
Now, okay, if we come here, we're gonna use most of our movement. Now we need to stay alive. Alright, let's try and get sharp eye. Nice. And okay, Lazel is gonna go and get this goblin tracker. Oh, we've got this goblin brawler coming in. Uh, or maybe Talquil will get the tracker. Uh, maybe he's gonna be the one to get the tracker. I really don't want to pull anyone else in. She's got the high ground on us. Need to find a way forward. Fine, he's got more AC, so hopefully they will miss him. The, the Goblin Tracker. Uh, well, okay, okay, we do want. Actually, I don't know. Okay, fine. That was a bit of a mistake. Yeah, missed him. He's got enough AC. Blood comes easy these days. Um, all right. Should get started. Our bonus action. 65%. Oh, come on. Talker, come on. You can just miss things like these. Okay. Do we rush in on this guy? Not enough movement. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. He's going to act after us. Rizal, can you actually jump in there? What if we do the Githyanki psionics jump on you? Taking position. Here, can we, oh. okay. Come on, can't stay Cancel. Can you move anywhere? No, you just occupied all the space around this thing. Not enough movement. Oh. Oh. Do a hamstring shot on this guy, 60%. Delay him. Hamstrung, yes. That's exactly what we want. It's more over here, so she can't quite see us, I think. He'll be hamstrung. Yeah, it's not going to move very far. She disengages. Misses. Chase her down. Time to push my luck again. Hotel clear. Me everywhere. <coughs> nice. Wonder if the gods are watching. Damage. I am fury. I am dead. Lazel closes in. Oh, can't get away from this one. Can't get away from this one. Armstrong. Another turn. Alright, and we can just. Oh. Hit him with the short bow. Um, we're gonna have to fight him sooner or later, so I mean, we should, we should have done that, frankly. Um, although, yeah, we, we can avoid damage this way. I mean, he's gonna run around here, clearly. So let's go ahead and meet him. Meet him when he comes through. Alpha can actually hamstring shot him once again. Nice. Let's just stand here. Let's dash through the door. I won't give in. him so 60 percent shot that will be enough still breathing wow despite everything okay well that's oh, that took the edge off definitely worth a short rest for sure um okay i'll leave this actually i will loot these buildings in the blighted village in between episodes just so we don't waste time but now that we are in combat with these goblins Mm. Go ahead and finish.
finish the rest of them. This one's for careful footwork. Because there are more. What's the roundup? Nothing. Unless you like trash. Back a little bit. My Come on, Lazel. Follow. What now? Right here. Carefully now. Oof. Now, what are they doing? Tracker slice for all the break. Mm, how about the best way we can get on the roof? But no, but it's not going out fast. You know, need to like something in this heat. Gotta get on top of them and just kill them. What we gotta do. Right, so oh, there's this guy that keeps walking about. <laughs> Okay, maybe when these garbage. Oh. Come on, gotta be something here. Absolute, don't want this junk. How do you know? I just do. Ah. And the others getting drunk off their choppers in camp. Ain't fair. Okay. <sighs> gotta be something in this heap. Let's get it. Get out of here. Lizelle, come with us, come with us, come with us, come with us. Let's get down here. Gotta be something in this heap. Okay. So Lizelle's gonna deal with the goblin warrior here. Or well, we are going to attack Tracker Slice, right? From hiding and deal with those two. to fight and now you have one okay, at least we did oh. okay talco is gonna have to handle this can he though uh i will ascend. i think he can okay, well, there's a fainting attack 91 percent boom 17 action surge Lacerate? No, we don't have. To. We don't need to lacerate. Let's just. Yeah, there she goes. That's the power of Lazel. Yeah, now she's full HP. She can even do the fainting attack again. Where do I go from here? Um, where do I go from here? Action surge. And yeah, got her. Does he have any uh, AC from Dexterity? Just one. Uh, we can probably save that. Probably save that. Shield. Shield at 19. Shouldn't hit too hard. Uh, do not react. No, I'm gonna use it. It's better. See, the shield, yeah, you need to be judicious with it. Uh, as much as you can. Oh. Fainting attack here. Oh come on, really? Come on. Fight. Let's go. Missed. Yeah, fighting a weak enemy like this. You need to use shield when you have a lot of enemies attacking you, and it's the one that's attacking you first that triggers it. So that you have other five enemies all attacking you while you're holding the shield. Okay, I'll do, again, I'll do the looting a little bit later. I think there's another pair of these out here. What do we have? We still have the shield. We still have everything. Got lacerated. We don't have action surge anymore. But we're not going to sh short rest. Yeah. Yeah, it's not point. Not really worth it. Let's take these out. 
What do we have here? A warrior goblin and a sharp eye. Okay. I think Lyazel can get her with uh, the fainting attack out of hiding. Right. Surely. Ready for anything. Pigs Boom. are fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Oh come what? Oh come wait. No, she did she does have one HP. Regain hit points one to eight. Two times a day out of combat. This is weird. Why? Why was she even given a chance to do that? Lame, frankly. Okay, she has a nimble escape. Sounds a warp. Oh, we need to get her. Okay. Okay, this is when you use the. Well, frankly. Oh, we didn't. Oh, did ah? Oh, when we woke up, we didn't use weapon bond. And now, oh, gonna have to use magic missile. Guess we are gonna have to use magic missile. Mm. Yeah, because we're threatened, so we can't get her. Although Lazel will be able to get her next, right? Yeah, we're unfortunately locked into combat with this guy. But how will Lyazel get her? She'll just come here. Let's save ourselves some grief. So that's going to take care of the warg. And with this. Let's go ahead and give days this guy nice just make this kind of easy on ourselves this combat there we go oh, cause this guy's got a dual wielding weapon he can hit him pretty hard i'm sure i don't want to be cleaved so i'm gonna stand to the side let's uh, come on finish him off still do have a fainting attack short rest after this in any case right yeah we probably will yeah get him can't give up now okay uh okay well while we're just sta standing here I will grab grab things off of these guys we have to unfortunately rest just to get our abilities back I'll feel that one later. Even though we still have all of our HP, but I'm feeling a little bit tired. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. No. Uh, I do believe. Uh, That thing, that shining thing working. Um, what's going on over here? Round and round and round. <laughs> and Get the weapon bond. Okay, a bunch of goblins. I mean, there's one. Yeah, with action surge, we should be able to get him. I mean, if not, then we'll jump away. Well, let's see if we can maybe threaten them. Mm. Stop this thing! Scream all you like! It's 
Let's see. <laughs> Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Hmm. What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Hmm. Re rephrase. Why are you doing this? Because it makes me laugh. <laughs> Okay, fun's over. Release the gnome at once. Yeah, I guess we won't like these goblins. They would try to ambush us. We already killed most of their friends, so these are, yeah, most likely will be dead in a minute. Fun's over. You want this little cave lurking? What's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. Quieter, you're making a mistake. You can think it over in the group. Let's just intimidate him. Go with intimidation. We can even use yeah guidance and our friend's cantrip. Yep. Nice. Okay, let's see what that does. Oof. Fifteen now. Yeah, I mean we are outnumbered. But we can be pretty intimidating. The goblin's nostrils flare, as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to... I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. Move it! Okay. Fresh meat. Okay, so you see, so when we have this friend's cantrip, though, it lasts for ten turns. Okay, catch a break. Okay, let's bring this guy down. Break lever, release break. Now let's break. Come on, untie me. Are you waiting for? Cut me loose! Hmm, we're not very materialistic. Let's just free him. Saving him because we don't like goblins mostly. Oh, Maga Kamara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. Whatever you are. Oh, you seem a little confused. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Hmm. I'd rather know how you got caught. You know, learn about goblins. Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Wait, you do not look like a surface creature. Why are you here? Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well... We will have met again. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to pause, guys. Uh, I think we're up on the hour. Just a little bit over. I will go ahead and just loot all of this, find his pack. And maybe loot everything in the blighted... In the blighted village. Just to save us some time in between episodes. I'm sure everyone's seen this many, many times. Um, but yeah, Ooh, we're making very good progress here. I was about to check, but we're almost halfway to level 4. And that's when, uh, yeah, things will really open up. I'm really enjoying the fighters. I feel like every level... The ca there's like significant character progression. Which I really, really like. So yeah. Let me let me do the looting, guys, and I'll do a quick summary at the start of the next episode with, you know, what happened, what I've done, what I found, if I sell anything with the merchants. Uh, we can also just check that. Otherwise, though, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Baldur's Gate 3, I feel, never gets old. Yeah, thanks, guys. Bye for now.